Do you want to see it now? <laughs> My pregnancy pillow is coming with me, guys. It's about to get real. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Becky. Today is the 23 week pregnancy updates. I'm so excited this week. A lot of things have happened. There's a lot of changes going on with my body and I'm sure with all of yours as well. So let's get right into it, starting with the baby facts. At 23 weeks, your baby's face is fully formed. Eyebrows, eyelashes, nose, and nostrils, it is formed. Their little face is there. If you see an ultrasound this week at 3D or 4D, you would be able to see what you're going to see when you give birth, your baby's face, which is phenomenal. It's a beautiful sight. I really wish that I had an ultrasound machine at my house because I would be doing an ultrasound 24-7. That's just me, but to each his own. 23 weeks, baby can grasp. So you might be able to find your baby holding on to your umbilical cord or holding on to anything else any of their fingers limbs toes for me it's just so cute to know that they're starting to grab onto things and little things that we're going to notice when they give birth are starting from now their lungs are still filled with liquid but they're starting to create little air sacs that'll help them breathe once they give birth Really quick, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here and let me know in the comments what other pregnancy related videos you would like to see on my channel. But let's get back to it. Baby weighs about one pound, give or take, but within the next month, they're expected to double in size. So get ready, mamas, because it's about to get real. We're really going to start growing from this point on until the baby is earth side. Last fact for this week that I'm going to give you is the baby is already hearing muffled sounds. So if you have an older sibling or if your husband or partner goes up to your belly and just starts talking to your belly, your baby can hear it. Your baby, I, My baby can hear me talk right now. I'm talking to you, but I'm basically talking to him because he can hear everything. They're the biggest little eavesdroppers these days. And if there's any loud noise that goes on around you, baby can also hear it and might even be reacting to it. Maybe jumping, maybe get startled, but they can definitely hear things at this point. I know with my first pregnancy and with my second, by this point I would start playing a music that I played and sang to them while they were earthside after. And it was kind of interesting because those are the same songs. The same songs that I played while they were in my belly are the same songs that they would fall asleep to when they were earth side so there might be some scientific you know correlation between the two but who knows if you're wondering what's coming up on your next doctor's appointment you might have a checkup i know i have a checkup next week but my glucose test is also coming up if you haven't taken it already it's coming up in the next couple of weeks so get ready for that for sure my symptoms this week have changed you might start feeling at 23 weeks a lot more heartburn indigestion and just all around your skin is itchy um, this week I definitely have noticed throughout the week where I'm just in certain like moments of the day I'm just like wow I have a lot of heartburn or like oh my baby baby girl's awake and I've also noticed indigestion for sure there's some foods that I know that I can't eat anymore or just to stay away from as much as possible because it's just hard for me to digest things. I guess things are getting a little cramped in there and indigestion is just a thing. <laughs> Something else that I've noticed this week that you might be experiencing is your clothes. If you haven't experienced your clothes to be too tight at this point, now you might start feeling it get a little tight. Um, like for me, I bought this shirt in the beginning of my pregnancy and it was super loose. It was super flowy, super cute. And... Do you want to see it now? <laughs> it is tight on me. I know. It's crazy. You might start realizing that your clothes are fitting very snug and that you might start needing maternity clothes, which I've been the type to not really buy maternity clothes for my first pregnancy. I went to Ross and I bought like maybe four or five maternity tops. And maybe two leggings that were stretchy just like the one i'm wearing now and for my second pregnancy i just kind of saved some of those clothes but i normally stick to just wearing tank tops and leggings and stretchy shorts 
I haven't been the type to really buy pregnancy or maternity clothes just because I don't really find like the need to buy it because they're so expensive so I'm definitely gonna start looking into maternity clothes that are on sale or cheap or maybe go to Ross again just because I'm not gonna wear it for so long I'm gonna wear it maybe for three or four more months and then I have no use for it so I don't know what to do if you have any maternity stores that you like to go to that aren't too overpriced let me know in the comments because I'm kind of struggling here definitely something else that has been going on this week um, other than my allergies I'll get right into it are is me getting out of breath I'm literally out of breath for everything I can walk from one room to another in my house and I will need to sit down and take a minute because my body is just tired another thing I've never had allergies in my life you might notice that my voice is still a little off track from everything that's been going on if you follow me on Instagram or if you saw my last video I have had sinusitis for the past week um, it started off as allergies I guess I was just sneezing and my eyes were watery but like I said I've never experienced that before so I didn't know what it was I thought I was just catching a cold but apparently with this pregnancy I have acquired some new sensitivities and apparently now I have allergies and there's been, it's been very windy where I live recently and apparently they've this pollen that's flying around in the air and I have allergies now so I when I called my doctor and I was like hey this is going on my face hurts I don't know what to do I can't breathe I can't sleep I can't do anything I'm tired um they weren't gonna be able to get me in until next week so I gave in and I went to the hospital and they told me that a ton of people have allergies at this point but being pregnant my immune system is low and I have new sensitivities to things that I normally would not have sensitivities to so they prescribed me an antibiotic and I've been taking it as you can see I'm feeling a ton like a million times better than I was last week I was literally on this bed dead tired all day long I couldn't move I couldn't do anything my poor kids I was feeling so guilty I was going through it last week I really was <laughs> but thankfully I'm feeling so much better and they did tell me that since I acquired acquired the allergies while I was pregnant there's a possibility that once baby is earth side I will still have these allergies I'm hoping not but I mean I don't know I don't even know what to think about that but thankfully the baby's fine they didn't have any concerns and I do have a doctor's appointment in a couple days to follow up with my like OB to make sure the baby's fine I feel him move all the time which is another thing baby is moving so much baby is constantly moving I would like now I'm walking around and I feel him move here and there I feel him kick my bladder I sneeze pee now which is like a thing that I was really hoping was not gonna happen until like later on in pregnancy but this past week with all of the allergies that I've apparently been having I've been sneezing a lot and I've been changing my clothes a lot if you catch my drift and I'm trying to make sure that my bladder is constantly empty but I'm constantly thirsty so I'm constantly drinking water which is good I'm craving water which is great I'm very glad that I'm craving water and craving all of things healthy I'm craving veggies and I'm cooking a lot of soup and I'm cooking like a ton of like just healthy things which I kind of drifted away from in the past couple months of my pregnancy but I'm getting back on track I'm feeling normal again somewhat so I'm starting to cook healthy again another thing this week is like I feel like full of symptoms and full of new things as we get closer to the third trimester things are gonna get like this past week crazy but another thing I think that I've been experiencing some Braxton Hicks every once in a while my tummy will like just tighten up nothing too crazy nothing too painful but definitely I feel it like I notice it and I have to sit down and just like wait a second or two and it'll go away but definitely been feeling those and it's definitely harder to get out of bed even if it's just to pee in the middle of the night my tummy is in the middle it's in the way <laughs> and I kind of have like that turtle effect where it's hard to get up but that's it for symptoms this past week 
it's been a crazy week i've also been using my pregnancy pillow so much this past week it's been such a lifesaver and i'm so thankful for it Haley says it's my best friend because anywhere i go even if i go sit on the couch my pregnancy pillow is coming with me guys like it's real so let's get into a bump shot okay friends this is what i'm talking about this shirt was completely flowy it's from old navy and it was on sale so like i picked it up and now like it's a complete like it's just stuck to me <laughs> first of all i have to give these pants some recognition and these are from marshall's maybe ross they were like eight bucks they're not maternity pants but as you can see they are so comfortable i feel like i live in these if i'm not wearing them i'm washing them to wear them again it's literally they're in the washer like every night but it's fine because i love them and i have to go back soon to find some more like i said i'm not into maternity clothes but these these my closet is open <laughs> these are definitely something that i can use after birth postpartum and obviously while i'm pregnant so i love them but this is my belly peep my belly button literally i feel like just putting tape on it <laughs> but this is it my veins are also showing more i just need to go to the beach but 23 weeks that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it I am glad to be back and feeling more like myself this week because, like I said, your girlfriend has been going through it this week, well, last week. But I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to feel normal again for the most part. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I feel like this week has been all over the place for me. But what about you? If you're around the same time that I am, how have you been feeling? What have your symptoms been? Let me know in the comments. And give this video a thumbs up for more pregnancy-related videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!